Welcome, I'm Nathaniel Athrop with Crosswork Productions, and today we're going to spin the wheel of frames. But before we get started, I want to introduce you guys to some of the things that this channel will be doing for a while. We'll be doing a lot of DIY builds, along with behind the scenes and how I do a lot of stuff for my projects. Every once in a while I might do a visual effects tutorial, and also, we'll be spinning the wheel of frames, where we find a shot from a Hollywood movie and try to recreate it in our own DIY way. So let's get started on our first section of Wheel of Frames for Indiana Jones. Let's spin... So for this shot, we'll notice that there's a light coming in from his left, which is pretty much the main fill light. This is the main light that's coming in for the shot. And then we'll notice that there's another light coming in behind him. It's also a backlight. All right, so I set these two lights up in my sister's bedroom. I had the light one, which is the fill light, and then also the backlight. I also had to cover the window so I could have a controlled environment for the light. So here's myself dressed up in a somewhat accurate wardrobe. Just the, if you have a good wardrobe, that definitely helps to the feel of uh, giving it that real look. So that's just with no, none of the two lights put on. That's just the, the natural room light. So then I turned on the one fill light the light one that I set up right near the camera. And we're getting the nice harsh shadows right on that part of my face. And then I went ahead and turned on the backlight. So then we have those really nice shadows that are going up the side of my face and down my shoulder. And that's the light that I turned on behind me. And this is the frame that we'll be using will be copying. In composition wise it's not the exact thing. Uh, there are some differences in sizing and things but we're concentrated on the lighting right now so that should end up looking somewhat close as far as lighting goes. So with a quick visual effects composition through motion 5 I'll put together the the background and the wall and everything. Since I didn't have a an ancient temple to go into and set up my lights and stuff, I had to I had to sit down and mask myself out and add all the artificial things. You know, stone steps that lead to our greenhouse and giant boulders that I have around the house. So with the final composition done, it looks somewhat close. And these little blue things here, they're just the lights that motion is built in. They are lighting the subject a little bit, but it's not too much of a problem because they're mainly just lighting all the surrounding areas on the walls. Then we compare it to the original. And if we put them side by side, we can see that the, the fill light is pretty, pretty close. I mean, there's a, there's a small uh, color tone difference. But then we have the backlight, which is, uh, you know, more white on the original. I mean, this is DIY, so you can do it however you want, and it's going to look pretty good depending on how well you do it and uh, how you do it. Now what we're going to do is look at the 3D sky viewpoint. So we're going to zoom out of our shot that we did, and we're going to zoom up and out so that we have the three layers. We have the actor the wall next to him, and then the back wall. So we have this first light, the light one, key light, fill light, whatever you want to call it. Technically it's not a fill light. Fill light is to just overall light the whole subject. And then we put in the back light, which is most likely hidden right behind the wall that he's next to, lighting the back of him and the side of his face. And this viewpoint is estimating where the lights would be in the actual set of the movie. 
So now with setting up a DIY lighting system and focusing on where we think the lights are in the frame of the movie, and we're able to recreate that and see how close we can get to the real thing. And in this case, other than, you know, composition difference, uh, lighting tone, and obviously adding the visual effects where they didn't, it looks somewhat reasonable. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to keep up to date on my other projects, go ahead and like and subscribe. And if you're interested, the link for my Instagram account is down below. Subscribe, like, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.